Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Block. In this video, we're going to install the latest Windows Server 2016, the latest version, which is TP5, and uh, we're going to use uh, ESXi uh, hypervisor, which is in our lab. So we choose uh, hardware version 11 and Windows Server, Server 2016, which is basically then the default configs uh, in uh, networking we take uh, VMXnet 3 and here we keep the defaults we're gonna thin provision the disk and uh, we're gonna hook the CD as a data store ISO file which we previously upload it to a data store which is visible for this host so now we have to find the ISO of uh, Windows Server 2016 no, it's not OEOS, I think it's uh, this one uh, not this one yeah, the, the one is selected yeah okay, finish then uh, we can start the VM and start the configuration process. The installation is pretty straightforward, and uh, after the basic installation. All you need to do is install VMware tools, but before that we select the language and the keyboard. We just keep the defaults for the lab. Install, hit the install. It takes a few seconds to show the, the next screen where we have uh, options. Oh, we can skip this. We don't need the product key. Yeah, here. We're going to select the data center edition with the uh, desktop experience, which is going to give us the GUI so we can work as we, as we used to. Then uh, select the custom way, click the next button. So here I'm going to pause the video and, re and um, reboot the VM. Here we go. The first boot process is perhaps a bit slower than, than the boot process following one, the following one. But uh, here we're just going to set the local admin password. The local admin password is a password of the lo local admin of the of the machine. But then we are going to install Active Directory on this on this machine, so everything is going to change. You will see that later in this video. So this is the local admin password. Just choose some password you remember. And in a minute you're gonna see the screen back. We can log on with that password. So here 
the mouse is stuck stuck inside the console so just hit ctrl alt to get out and install vmware tools if you are fast enough you can hit the the dvd drive vmware tools well, i wasn't so i have to open windows explorer go to the DVD ROM and execute the setup 64 installation program of VMware tools. Pick up the default settings. So far it's pretty easy and nothing has really changed since Windows Server 2012 R2. So it's just a recap of what we have done already in the lab many times. And this video is for the this uh, for the I mean uh, this video is for users who discovering this product for the first time. They never installed Microsoft Active Directory, so they need some guide guidelines. Here again another reboot. Here we are starting the VM. So, and now it, the process is much faster, obviously, as you can see. And after the login, we can start configuring. At first, we need to set up static IP address for this VM. This is a hard requirement because domain controller has to have a static IP. So depending on your env environment, just choose the IP address you wish for your environment. Default gateway and the DNS server, which is the same as the as the system I'm configuring because the DNS service is gonna get installed at the same time we're gonna activate the Active Directory services. Uh, one more task to configure is to rename the system because by default it gets some strange name. So we're gonna put some meaningful name. 2016 DC1 for example. Okay. Okay. And here now obviously we need to reboot the VM again. But uh, it's pretty fast. No need to cut the video. In some parts I'm cutting the video just to speed up the configuration process but single reboot without without Active Directory installed is pretty fast. When you have the Active Directory installed then the reboots are much slower because you have to load all the the AD da database database. Now we just check that the IP address has been set as requested and everything is fine. So we can launch the Adroads and features where we will choose the AD role to install to a server, Active Directory Domain Services. And the role will pick up some tools which will be necessary to manage the server afterwards. The assistant is pretty the same as in 2012 R2. Hit the install button, check the button to restart the server if necessary. But in our case, I don't think it's gonna ask us to reboot the server right now because at first it's gonna install the roles. At first, we're gonna install the role and then we have to promote the server to a domain controller. 
as we creating a new domain we are also creating new forest so we are also adding new forest need to choose a name for the root domain in our case um, let's pick up like lab 2016 dot local this is going to be our dom domain hit the next button and uh, another thing to do is to type the directory service restore mode TSRM password first functional level and the domain functional level for now in technical preview uh, 5 is called technical preview you can see and when the final version is going to be out it's going to be Windows Server 2016 I guess so hit the next button again Result will start to configure the server. Hit the next button again. It's going to be NetBIOS domain name, and the location will be AB database. So now the server is verified all the requirements. There are going to be some yellow marks, but uh, all the requirements checks passed successfully, so we can start to install and configure operations. It might take some time, so I think that the best going to be to pause the video and to come back later when all the services are going to be activated this is um, the last reboot of the server so yeah as you can see we have no option here than to leave this machine to reboot by itself. Yeah, and here I'm gonna pause the video and come back when the server is up and running again. And here we go, we should see the DNS console where we need to do one more step. DNS manager, because uh, we do have the forward zone, but we don't have the reverse lookup zone by default. By default, you have to do it manually. So you just create a new zone and then you will just uh, replicate this zone to all these domain controllers in this forest by default is not activated IPv4 and put the IP address of your zone where's lookup zone choose if you want secure dynamic only updates or if you have any other VMs that gonna be using this zone you can uh, lower the security and uh, one more thing is to create a pointer which is pointing to the forward record okay uh, it's the itself okay this is it gonna open the network settings where we need to put the DNS server because this one oops got reset to itself but the IP address is wrong so we're gonna put the correct IP address here at the same time you can 
you can uh, disable the IPv6 if you're not using in lab. Uh, have a look at the Active Directory Users and Computers console, which is the console. Uh, we can pin it in the taskbar. This is the default console to manage users and computers. So you have Active Directory successfully installed. This uh, ends up our demonstration of um, installing and configuring Active Directory server. By um, putting dcdag, you can also check the verification tests. And uh, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.